Hello everybody in the pro wrestling community and welcome it's me, Lindsay Rogers, and welcome back to the Pro Wrestling Fan. I hope you guys are enjoying uh AEW uh full gear because let's talk about the one thing that happened came out of the goodness. And no this is no this isn't doesn't contain any spoilers. This has to deal with well, Cody his how he got it he how He's allowed to use his last name again. And, uh, why do I find it a little bit too fishy? So, if you guys haven't known, no, like, Cody, Cody was finally allowed to be introduced as the American Not Milk Cody Rhodes. And the reason why he's allowed to again is because it was taken time for Cody to get that registered or, or under his name, name on behalf of a lawyer yeah, yeah. so he was allowed to again. If you guys didn't know for how many years? Three years I would say? Nearly almost, I would say about three years, Cody was not allowed to use the Rhodes last name. Because somehow WWE weaseled upon the keeping the keeping the last name. Even though despite Brandy and Brandy, Cody's wife, and Cody's half older brother, Dustin, were allowed to. Which did not make any sense to me at all. But somehow now uh, Cody was in fact allowed to use use it again. And and especially Tonight, during AEW done, uh, AEW pay per view, you full full full, full gear. Yeah, and I know most of you guys are wondering, wondering, how come it took so long? Well, I'm not really much of a to say in per legally, but it sounds like to me that I guess it depending on a trademark part. Probably it would take a certain amount of time to, before it, like, like before or it was, um, I guess, how do I put this? I guess it take, I guess a certain trademark needs to be, uh, in order to keep it fit, it under somebody, it, and, they, and then it takes time till it expires. Maybe that's the reason. I'm not really sure, but. Anybody who knows understand about trademarks, let me know down in the comments. So, yeah. So, I'm shocked in, uh, as much to say this that since no lo since it's been no longer in the grasp of WWE, he is now in the grasp of one Cody Road, <laughs> Cody Rod, <laughs> Cody. Sorry, and now it's in the grasp of Cody and AEW. I mean, he's allowed to use his his last name again and and which was really great because especially if you haven't seen it um there's a clip on uh instagram probably on twitter too that uh, how justin roberts and uh introduced cody again and i recognize him as of course the tnt uh champion and 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 the american might be cody rhodes so, it's really cool to see that happening. I mean, so, I'm just glad that Cody is allowed to have that again. Now, I feel like it's complete for him and his wife and his half-older brother. And I know what you guys say, he's referring to his older brother. I was like, yeah, I know. But sometimes I tend to be a little technical, dip, technical because... Cody and Dustin has different mothers, but the same father. That's plain and simple. Oh, but I'm just glad that Cody is allowed to be wrestling again as Cody Rhodes. It's, even though when I tweet about this, I always tend to say Cody Rhodes, but now it feels right to say it. Yet because it nearly wasn't because of how it was, but even though we all know his Twitter handle is at the co at Cody Road, so 
you know. So anyway, I'm just I'm just glad Ed now since since that happened, I just want to give you guys my thoughts about this. So let me know down in the comments. What do you guys think? Does this sound good that Cody is now to be known back again as the as Cody Rhodes? I know most of you guys are saying that Cody never came up with the nickname Mick Nightmare. No, that's because he took it from his brother, their Dustin, because Dustin was before he was known. Once he was known as the American Nightmare, but now somehow his how Cody got it. But Dustin's preferred is to be known as the natural Dustin Rose. That's, so, <laughs> let me guys know what you guys think. Anyway, I hope you guys like this. If you do, please hit that like button down below. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure notifications are definitely turned on. And by the way, for those who have seen my video talking about Tracy's mothers, I want to say thank you. And for those who have left comments, um... I didn't know what to say about this because I know one person who left the comment about Tracy Smothers, I'm like, who said that he has known him for, like, for a couple of years. I'm like, I know one wrestler who knows him, oh, Tracy, and you know I had mentioned him um, a couple, like, nearly a couple of times before, and that's Chris Hero. Oh, and because Chris has known Tracy for quite a while. Like, a long time. Yay. So, anyway. This is Lindsay Rogers signing off. I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then. Bye.